Hey, what up, scuffed raisins? This is a very strange video, but uh, I figured I'd try something like this and maybe do more of this in the future if it catches on, if people like it. There is an upcoming match against Scuff Station Gaming versus Disunified, Mertzio SMNI. This is gonna be a big event, right? Like, this is some of the biggest Rocket League YouTubers on the face of the earth getting together. And not only that, it's being hosted by Johnny Boy on live stream and we're doing a fusion format which is kind of an interesting uh, way to play Rocket League but I'll get into that in a bit so yeah I just figured this was a big enough event for me to sort of make a make a video talking about it and maybe giving some insights and uh, you know some thoughts on it but on top of that I've also perhaps maybe written a little bit of a love letter towards our opponents Scuff Station Gaming uh, by love letter I mean an absolute brutal diss track which I'll be playing in a minute. <laughs> so as you might have seen, if you follow Twitter in any way, Mertzi tweeted this, this challenge towards the Scuff Station Gaming, saying that we now have a logo, which I actually designed, which he's given credit here. Thank you, Mertzi. Appreciate that, homie. I spent like a week working on a logo, and now I'm also working on a decal for the team, which is going to be lit. I'm not going to spoil the decal yet, because I feel like Mercy and I would probably like to make a video where we sort of, you know, play with the decals for the first time. Oh, you know what? I can tease it. I'll tease it just a tiny bitsy, itsy bitsy. There you go. Are you happy? <laughs> just download a program that sharpens pixels and you can probably make out <laughs> what the f is going on on the screen. But before we get any deeper, I'm going to let you guys listen to the diss track. So continue talking after. Lethemir, musty and sunless I'ma beat you up with custom rockets Empty your pockets, fear the unexpected Try your musty flick, I take you out regardless You have the most of, but you still play like garbage Sunny boy, but today's raining for you Lethemir, the only guy that's playing for you Not a background object You still ain't gonna do enough to unify the disassembled Disunify, chaotic, split your octanes, molecules This is not a diss, just telling you the truth Break your ankles! Scuff Station Gaming, stay out of my sandbox I don't come to play, I'm just wishing you bad luck You don't got a chance, we've been destined to blow up Disunified the best team and you're just scuffed Disunified team, let's go! Yay, Disunified team, I'm your biggest fan I love your videos, you're the best team! Hope you enjoyed that, lads and ladits. Okay, so, Mertzi has challenged the opponents, and soon after, the businessmen gathered together. We went in the DMs. So, as far as I know, currently, the consensus is that on the 15th of this month, so next Monday, we're supposed to play this matchup. I also wanted to make this video as, as a way to let you guys know that it's gonna happen, so that if you want to watch it, You'll be aware that Monday, boom, bim, bam, big day. So mark your calendars, boys. There's going to be a mix of modes. So we're going to play 3v3s, 2v2s, and 1v1s. Game 1 is going to be a 3v3. Game 2, on the other hand, obviously we got to drop two players. So we basically just have the teams pick their own squad. The other team will not know who you are picking. Therefore, it sort of becomes this sneaky game of like trying to juke the other team you could pick the best players on the team or you could pick the worst it's pretty much just tossing a coin but you know you could be you could play a little bit of mind games i guess uh so game three becomes a 1v1 one of the best 1v1 players in our team osm absolute massive mongoloid you know the other team they have lethemir i'm assuming he's probably pretty good at ones i don't know did he ever main ones like was he a big ones player i don't really know to be fair i'm not too familiar with the 1v1 players obviously he's an ex-pro player so he's very strong game four the team that is currently losing the series gets to choose what format we play. In the rules it says the team is not allowed to pick the same format twice in a row and also the same lineup of players twice in a row. Game five, the other team picks, so, and then it just starts going back and forth until we have the winner. The winner of the series, the king of content creation teams. I, I feel like this is an interesting topic to discuss. Like, if we're being realistic here, are these teams on par? Are we a fair matchup? 
Now, honestly, I do believe so. Okay, Disunified, for example. OSM is a very good player. He's a very strong player. Like, high GC. Me and Mercy, we're like... We're more on the lower end of GC, but we're pretty solid players overall. And then we got, on the other team, we got Lethemir, ex-pro player, absolute nutty player, right? We got Musty, who, as far as I'm aware, he's like a mid to high GC. I believe he was like somewhere at 1800 MMR, so he's definitely a very, very, very solid player as well. And then you have Sunless, who is, I think he's C3. I don't think he's hit GC, or, or maybe he's hit GC, but hasn't been able to maintain it. So we're spying on his Twitch a little bit. Champ 3, Div 4, damn, Sonny. So, you know, having Sunless on that team of very good two players balances it out a little bit, you know? I feel like Sunless is going to struggle a little bit with staying at that high pace, high level gameplay. Regardless of Sonny, Sonny Boy maybe perhaps not being able to keep up with the pace. The problem is we have Lethemir against us, who probably is good enough to be able to somewhat carry the situation. Like regardless of any, you know, lack of rotation or lack of lack of formation or strategy or anything like that, he might be able to fill in the gaps just by being an absolute insane master of Rocket League. Whereas I feel like the disunified team, our team, we sort of match up together more. Scuff Station is much more extreme, so we got lower level player, super high level player, and someone in the in the middle. Honestly, if I had to give some sort of a rating for the teams, I don't know which one I would rank higher. I feel like it really depends on how much having a champ 3 disorientates the team, and how much Lethemir can carry. <laughs> like, genuinely. Like, I remember from the YouTube tournament that we did a while back, hosted by Johnny Boy, the thing was, a lot of the teams consisted of one pro player and then one content creator. So you had like, I believe it was Kronovi and Sunless play together. We had like Lethemir and John Sandman, I think, if I'm not remembering incorrectly right now. The pros were such hard carries. It was insane. I played with Jazer and we struggled so hard, even just against that pro player. They were able to carry in a way that I never even imagined was possible. I did not think the pros were that good that they would just do a 1v2 basically. But they, they, they were also really smart about how they used that content creator to the team's advantage. So they were very good at like making the plays happen, you know, making pass plays and being careful with, you know, knowing that the content creator might not be able to keep up with the pace or whatever. They would fill in the gaps and they did a wonderful job at that so yeah the pro players you think it would not be possible to underestimate them but it really is you think you know how good they are and then out of nowhere they surprise the crap out of you so yeah it's gonna happen on monday the 15th so next week if you want to stay up to date i'm assuming that if it's gonna be live streamed i believe you know johnny boy would obviously make some sort of an announcement about it beforehand maybe the other guys might do as well so Follow any of us on Twitter. Follow me, because I got the best Twitter out of all of them. I would assume a lot of us are probably making a video of it afterwards, some sort of edited content from our perspectives, which I'm also going to be doing, so be on the lookout for that on my channel. Just let me know, guys, in the comments how excited you are on, the, on a scale from Joe Rogan to Musty Khan. Who do you think is going to win, actually? I'm, I'm curious to see. Give me predictions in the comments. Just tell me who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be the MVP of the series? Who's going to who's going to pop off and absolutely destroy everyone? Give me some some predictions of some things. I don't know, just go wild with it. And that's about all like I want to discuss. So, I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Really looking like just I want to see more stuff like this happen. Like, this reminds me of that tournament we did between all the YouTubers and pro players. I would love for that to come back. So, Johnny, if there's any way possible you can bring the YouTubers and pro players tournament back, that would be so hype. I would be so down for that. Just any sort of content creation collaboration and big events like these, just to me, are some of the most exciting things in Rocket League that can happen. And I feel like you guys love to watch this shit too. I feel like it's on us to make that happen for you. It's our responsibility. Looking forward to the future of content creation here. Thanks for popping in. Subscribe, like, join our Discord server for the greatest community in Rocket League. And I also have a Minecraft server which you can join and get access to forever if you subscribe to my Twitch for one month. Linkaroo done.
Peace. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, Bibbing Dope on Flame.